Okay, <laughs> hello my friends. So I'm doing a new format. If you look back on my channel, I was a photography channel before I did AI. And so I want to recapture that a little bit. Just walking around. This is a mix of like taking photos, POV, so you can watch what I'm doing. I will also do videos about editing these photos. I still do, of course, AI videos. This is just like happening sometimes. And it's just about the idea of, you know, all my hobbies, everything I do is in front of a screen all the time. You know, like AI coding, video games, digital music, digital painting, watching Netflix, stuff like that. And at a certain point, it's just too, too much. You, you spend all your life in sight, uh, sitting on a table. That can't be good. Here's a good scene. Hmm. I'll just take a snap here. It might be a little bit more experimental today, but that's okay. I love you, Ellie. That's kind of cool. Could do that. Okay. Why do people have to do this kind of stuff, though? I don't know. Like, just send a WhatsApp message. This might be another interesting capture here. Let's see. Let's do it like this. This might be nice more artistic style photos um what can i say i mean the question is what what are you doing actually with your life and um i found that like especially with youtube you spend so much time alone you spend so much time in front of a screen it is not really healthy what better could you do with your life than exploring the world taking nice pictures, maybe meeting nice people, having good experiences, spending your life like that, right? This might be interesting. We're going to make it work. There we go. It's all about life decisions, where you want to go, what you want to be, what makes you happy, you know? I think at a certain point in life, you have to think about your own happiness. This is going in that direction. Oh, there's a park up there. That is nice. Let's check that out. One thing I notice about my life is I look too much at screens. I don't look enough at the world and at other people and at things that make me happy, you know? Not that AI and video games and like doing live streams with you doesn't make me happy, but you know what I mean. It's, um, it's a different thing to be out there and actually interacting and enjoying the world and exploring the world, right? So that's a very different situation. That might be nice. I like to take pictures that are abstract, that are like about patterns. It can be a very rewarding thing to do. Like if you have the third grid on your camera, that is very helpful for this kind of photography. So many nice things here. There we go, let's take a shot of this. You know, another thing you figure out with success and with money is it's all not that important. It's nice, of course, to have more money and be more flexible in what you want to do. But at the same time, it's kind of often the situation you get into is that you just buy stuff you don't need that costs more and um, just spend more money. But then at the same time falling in this kind of hole where you need more money because you spend more money, you know? Um, it's also like another thing I found out, especially with my stays in Thailand and with my stays in Asia is we always feel like the West or the rest of the world also feels like the rest. The West is so rich, but is it? In the sense of quality of life, is that actually the case? Because imagine you have a life where you never have to cook because there's street food and street food is affordable, you know? So a lot of people in Thailand or most people in Thailand, they don't even have a kitchen in their home because you just go out and buy food. They don't think about doing it. Of course, their recipes are also pretty elaborate. It's pretty uh, work intense to do this food. But still, you know, 
being able to afford that that is quite um, a luxury to have you know all right and another thing that's interesting about that is there's actual life out on the street because of all these little stores and stalls and street foods and everything everybody's outside and here in the west everything is extremist regulated you can't really do anything because everything is under the rule of someone and everything is kind of like um, made for the big corporation so I really invite you to go outside and I did this because I, in my past I did uh, websites for small businesses so I went on foot through the city to ask small businesses to go inside and ask do you need a website do you need a newsletter do you need anything you know and the interesting thing was there isn't that much so I invite you to go outside walk down the street and make a list of how many actually private owned small stores can you actually find out there you know how many stores do actually exist that are not chains that are not uh, like owned by big corporations stuff like that go outside and see how many places are there where you can actually sit down and eat something or drink something without having to pay where you can just bring your own stuff and you can just enjoy yourself actually public space that you can actually as the public use because you own this space and you will find that there is not much of that left or it's not that you can remain anywhere you know these are very abstract photos I'm taking today <laughs> anyways yeah so once you figure that out and once you think about the quality of life the thing really is you have more quality of life in these other countries because you can go anywhere you are you can get amazing street food you can get a nice coffee even like if you want to have these kind of starbucks experiences you go to a 7-eleven you have like a cheesecake like a really big size cheesecake latte whatever uh, for like two bucks that's it and that's from 7-eleven but then you also have street food where they even make the coffee fresh for you they brew it for you on the street you can take a bike taxi everywhere here everything is ruled out you can't even have a bike taxi because it's not allowed a lot of these things take away your life quality and then on top of that they cost money so here I spend more money I have worse food take a picture of this here there we go Take it like this let's just see okay and um, especially in Europe like a lot of stuff is more regulated in what you can do in the public space or even in your private life what you're allowed to do so you can't even try out yourself in the same way you don't have the same freedom to explore yourself or even develop culture because that is also a process of culture is to try out new things and see if they work for you and if you can do something with them but often that isn't even possible you know so that can be a strange situation you know whoa okay that's interesting huh I mean even I don't like graffitis they give a good photo motif you know I kind of would love to have this text on there I just don't know how hmm should do it like this it's not great it's not a good picture how about this thank you good all right so yeah okay you know another thing about life and fame and money is I actually felt better have no money you know being poor and of course everybody tries to give you bad 
feelings about that. Oh, you're not being productive. Oh, you're not being a good part of society. Oh, you have to do this and that. You have to have that amount of money. You have to have that amount of success. But the truth is, if you don't have that, if you have enough to pay your bills, who can blame you? You pay your bills, you have your money, you do your thing. Um, so what's it to them, you know? Nah, that's a stupid picture. But then at the same time, the thing is, um, you have a lot more time. If you don't do anything for a week or two weeks, you just hang around with your friends, you just go outside, you're just being in the park or do whatever you want, you do some art, you do some music, you travel maybe, you know, just walking around. I was on a bicycle, I traveled from Vienna to Berlin on a bicycle, I, I slept in the forest. It was like it cost me absolutely nothing, you know. Um, that is also good living, you know, this is also enjoying yourself and having a good time with what you're doing and you don't have any kind of responsibility but you're enjoying life and then you feel like oh god my money is getting a little bit low I don't know this is not so beautiful let's go inside the city if you feel like hey my money is getting a little bit low you just find another customer I mean it's probably easier for me to say than for most people because I've always done my own thing I've always found my own work basically so for me going out there finding someone and thinking about a service I could do for something someone is pretty easy for me because that's basically what I do every day but um, it's something you can learn you know you just have to try it and the only secret to that is you just ask people and basically you can sell anything and the thing to think about here is instead of sitting at a desk and making your boss rich and slaving away 40 hours a week or more getting paid peanuts you do whatever you want to do and maybe you have less money but you have more time you have more freedom you do whatever you want whenever you want you know it might not always be that easy there's ups and downs sometimes you can't find any contract any work you should take some pictures also um, and sometimes you get really good contracts you have a little bit more money so you just have to like um, figure out how to organize your money let me take this this ah, it's not here there it is okay and then let's make one from the front a little bit wider a little bit more to the side I think that looks good let's give it a shot let's just see kind of like that too but I'm not sure now let's also take it like this more an angle I like these kind of like extreme angles Strong angles also give strong depth of field and that can make an image more beautiful regardless of the subject you're photographing. So that might be a trick for easy aesthetics to just do it like that. Uh, what did I talk about before? Oh yeah, your own, your own personal freedom, you know? Um, I don't know, I kind of enjoyed that more. Also, you feel like you've less responsibility because nobody cares about what you do. Nobody cares about who you are. You are also free to do and be who you want to be and uh, what you are, you know? You don't represent anything. Nobody approaches you about anything, you know? You can approach people about everything. And the cool thing is, that's the interesting thing. If you go outside and you tell the world, you tell people, hey, I'm living my life, I'm exploring, I'm just out here, people will most of the time be supportive, uh, especially if your story is more than just like sitting around um, in a park and drinking a can of beer, you know? So if you actually have a bit of a plan, um, you're much better off. All right, this might be good here. Yeah, this today is more like a 
minimalist abstract industrial aesthetic but i like that i'm okay with that it's also maybe it's the world we're living in you know so why hide that there's a park which is incredibly empty i'll give you a shot of that look at that it's basically nothing inside i feel there's also like too many of these like fake beautiful pictures of like I don't know, a beautiful woman in a long dress turning around so the dress swings out. She's standing in Bali on a beach, blah, blah, blah. All that kind of stuff. It has been done a million billion times. Well, let's go back to the point. Life is about the choices you make. It's pretty loud here right now. Also, if you think, why are you not photographing more people? Because it's not allowed, that's why. In Austria and Germany, you can't take photos of people and then publish them you are not allowed to do that that is illegal you can do it in most other places of the world though so that's pretty cool oh this looks good well, let's have a look see at this for some reason i love alleyways <laughs> you can have it very long let's take a picture like that and then maybe let's get down on the ground is this a good picture like that let's see okay good there we go oh this is nice too can we wait a second now this is might be better this way by the way that is the thing that is the way to do your own stuff is just go out and try it and see what happens that's literally the thing to do oh my god i hope i have everything on raw please tell me that this is on raw i don't even remember yes it's on raw okay good <laughs> for a second i thought everything was for nothing that i did today but yeah safe by the bell as they say okay ah. you know one thing that gave success to me though is to not care and just do the stuff i want to do you know and be happy with that don't don't question yourself too much don't have too high expectations of what needs to happen or how things have to look. I was incredibly worried in the past about the quality I put out, the things I put out, stuff like that. I still care about the quality. Of course, now I have more experience to do it better. But also, I find, especially looking at other channels, especially like sharing experiences with other people, that... Um, a lot of the things you share are interesting and good especially things like today with personal stories they have their own value they have their own benefit because you're sharing something that is valuable beyond just the content you provide just the photos there's a story there's a life there's emotions there is drama there is development it has everything you know and at the same time, it's just my life, it's just my experiences. So I feel like these kind of things, they can be incredibly rewarding, you know? For me and for you both. So we both take away the best parts of it. And that is really nice, I would say. It's really interesting. Wait, let me see. I take this lower there we go this facade looks kind of crazy but interesting at the same time I want to have just that that's nice just a sliver of sky there we go 
pretty big road back there. Not sure if this is good for the sound, but yeah, we will see. Okay. These patterns here, they are pretty nice too. Maybe I take a photo of that. Okay, I would say that's enough for today. Let me know what you think and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet and well, um, yeah.